Cortex is the productivity stack. This is the stack you want to take for total mental energy, total mental dominance, total motivation, verbal fluency, focus, and the drive to get work done. Get the Cortex Nootropic stack at livecortex.com. Feel what it feels like to fire on all cylinders. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ryan, and we are going to have a discussion about coffee. No, I'm just joking. We're going to have a discussion about intermittent fasting, but I almost want to talk about coffee because I like coffee more than anything. Yum. Okay, so let's do a minute and a half of Product Pro. Uh, we are heavily investing all of our cash back into uh, reproduction of Cortex and then also another nootropic sack that's gonna be wickedly killer. I can't wait till it launches, guys. It's gonna be awesome. I don't wanna talk about the names uh, award. It's gonna be what's gonna be in it. We're just gonna launch it and you guys are gonna have to try it and you're gonna love it. Okay, so uh, so number one right now, we've got the Cortex stack, powerful pre-made stack. If you want a stack that turns the lights on, get Cortex. I mean, it, you're not gonna find a better pre-made stack, no question. You know, and I'm confident enough to say that. I've been in the game for nine and a half years. I built that stack partially because the other premium stacks just weren't doing it for most folks. We wanted to make something very powerful and very stimulatory, so we scored poker players take the stuff, just as an example. Cortex, livecortex.com, get a bottle of Cortex. Number two, uh, well, we wrote a bunch of digital guides. I'll run through them real quick. Number one, the beginner's guide to aniracetam. 25 aniracetam stacks teach you how to use aniracetam. Number two, the new pep pro stack list. Oral, nasal, sublingual, new pep stack lists. Okay, you wanna have stacks in the arsenal to take to toggle between stacks for, for all kinds of different brain function. We lay them out in that guide. Number three, the Racetam God Guide. 80 Racetam stacks, powerful Racetam stacks. Number four, Smarter, Better, Faster. That's the digital guide to get it for new to nootropics. Teaches you everything. Uh, then number five, the nootropic stacks for the business professional. 100 powerful stacks for business productivity. You wanna turn the lights on, get that digital stack list. Uh, then lastly, we've got a nootropics consulting service. It's 40 minutes with yours truly. Skype call, video call, mostly we do. Uh, and then uh, 15 additional email correspondences. Get all that stuff at livecortex.com. Uh, okay, so the deal is this. Uh, intermittent fasting is this thing where you take long periods to not eat anything throughout the day. And the thing that you, the way that you structure it is you essentially have eating windows. And within those eating windows, you eat all of your calories through the day within that window. So as an example, you could have an eight hour eating window from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And in, within which you eat all of your calories. So if, you're, if your caloric number that you're trying to hit for the day is 2,000 calories, you basically eat 2,000 calories between noon and 8 p.m. Uh, that's one way to do it. There's all types of uh, physiological benefits of, of doing it. Doesn't mean it's great to do consistently, right? Like people confuse this. There's this thing called autophagy, which is like essentially cellular recycling, right? Your, your cells start to recycle. They start to kill off like, you know, deranged and crazy cells that might eventually become cancer cells autophagy and that that happens when you fast doesn't mean it's great because well i mean if you fast forever eventually you're going to become malnourished and you're going to run into problems and well eventually you're just going to die uh, so it, it's important to take it in context and to pair it with situations appropriately but there are a lot of great things but the most important thing as it relates to this video and really teaching people how to uh, to control their fat is fat loss, fat loss, okay? There's a substantial amount of fat burning that takes place once you get past a certain point of fasting. After you've gone through the first couple hours of not eating, where your intestines start to move uh, clean, they go through these, these clearing, these waves, uh, these clearing waves, and then, uh, you know, your food that you ate recently turn, turns into chime and it gets absorbed, and then and now it's all sort of out, uh, and maybe it's in the colon waiting to get out, but there's, there's no digestion going on, there's no food, just cleansing waves. Once you get past that point, your stomach might be gurgling a little bit, you're like hungry. It, it, it's like the ensuing four to eight hours or 10 hours or 16 hours or whatever where you really start to get the fat burning benefits. Interestingly, uh, you know, with intermittent fasting, I can do crazy things like this. I can overeat pretty considerably, three to 500 calories considerably for two or three days straight. And then essentially, you know, what ends up happening is I'm not uh, immune to this, I get fat. I mean, I start getting fat, my, you know, my uh, definition of my abs starts going away, all my definition just starts going away and I start looking fat, I mean, for real, in two, three days. But then if I employ a very particular intermittent fasting strategy, which I'm gonna get to my strategy, in two, three days, it's all gone. 
Uh, and, then I'll, and then I look leaner and better again because during that time when I was eating, I was lifting weights and, do, and working out, so I was building muscle and doing good things, and I had the calories to support it, and I had the protein to support it, but then I just killed it all the fat. It's almost like a bulk cut period, but very, very uh, compressed. So that's intermittent fasting, okay? I think it's useful, totally awesome, and the answer to whether or not I do it is yes, I definitely do it, especially a lot more these days. I've been experimenting with it for many years. I was doing it when before it was cool in the blogosphere six years ago, right as the paleo folks are starting to talk about it a lot more. Coffee break. Mm. And I do it now. Here's my current intermittent fasting strategy. I wake up eight, nine o'clock, I go on a run. That's a, you know, it's a fasted run, but whatever. That's not really part of the strategy. Uh, I come back from the run. I eat a giant bowl of oatmeal because I know that I'm, I'm going to fast after this. So I need something to sustain me. A giant banana, not one of those little puny bananas, a, f a big banana. I chop it up, put it in the oatmeal, a little bit of brown sugar. And, you know, two cups of coffee, uh, about 100 milligrams of caffeine, in, you know, in it. If I'm going to take nootropics that day, I'll take them right around that time. And this really doesn't have any effect. I mean, it might have some effect, but it's really not, all things considered, majorly playing into this intermittent fasting thing. By 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I'm done with that oatmeal and banana and coffee. And that's when I stop eating. Okay, I now do not eat anything until just about 7 p.m. So I, I fast for a, it's not a significant 16 hour fast like, like, like all other folks do, but I fast, this is, this is enough for me. I fast between 11 a.m., roughly 11 a.m., it kind of changes the day, but it's right around that time, to about 7, 7 p.m., you know, every day. And 7 p.m. is when I'll, you know, I break the fast with a small uh, protein shake, uh, some salt and a banana, and then I go to the gym to work out. That's my current strategy. Uh, so I'm fasting for eight solid hours, basically eight hours throughout the middle of the day, and there's something really substantially effective for fat loss about doing it in a way where you're fasting between you know 11 in the morning and 6, 7, 8 p.m., and then you get your eating, you know, a large eating window uh, between you know 7:30 or so and midnight. But then you fast again when you sleep for eight more hours. You see what happened there? So we fasted for eight hours. We got some food in, a lot of food. I get a lot of calories in at nighttime. But then I sleep and fast again until nine o'clock or so the next morning. Right. So I'm basically doing two large fasting periods. You know, over the course of a. I don't really even want to say a 24 hour period. It's really like a little more 30 something hour period. Uh, and that I think really contributes to fat loss. Like I could literally turn the dial of fat loss on whenever I want just by employing that strategy and ensuring that my other meals are exactly the same, right? Just eating the oatmeal in the morning. My dinner, by the way, which is around eight or so, between eight, 8 p.m. and midnight, I just go nuts. And I'm totally hungry too because at seven, again, I go to the gym and work out, do cardio, punch the bag, and I lift you know, weights. And so from you know that that nighttime eight to midnight or one one a.m. even sometimes I'm, I'm up eating. I do a giant. It's two servings really, but if it was one, it'd be a giant. I mean, a whole plate, an entire plate of white rice, cauliflower over it, lots of salt, and uh, you know I'll do something like uh, d uh, like string beans or green beans that that have been uh, fermented. You sit them in salt and vinegar and let them sit for quite some time, and they taste like pickles, so like pickled string beans or pickled green beans and or pickled cauliflower. I'm really into that stuff. I like it a lot. Um, so that's the first meal that I'll do somewhere around eight or something. And then around 9, 30, 10 o'clock p.m., I'm still hungry because again, I fasted during the day. I did that giant workout. I eat another big bowl of oatmeal with another giant banana and a little bit of brown sugar. And that's essentially it. Then I fast the whole night, I wake up, I have the oatmeal, then I fast during the day. Okay, so, so that is my strategy. It works awesomely. It definitely works awesomely for brain performance. Right? You know, it, it makes it so that I can turn the dial on fat loss whenever I want. If I go over and I'm starting to look fat, you know, which happens, like, it, I get fat easily, man. You, you know, you just go over, go over and, you're, you know, take your maintenance number, which is the number of calories you can eat in the day that you've identified based on your exercise and based on your body and your metabolism, and you won't gain or lose weight with that number. If you eat 2,000 calories a day, every day, you won't gain or lose any weight. You'll stay exactly the same, right? I can go over that number, 23, 2400 calories for two days and start looking fat. 
and then I can clear that up in, in, in one to two days. It's really two days. It's like a, a equivalent amount of time by doing this intermittent fasting protocol. And so probably I'm just burning exactly the amount of calories that I went in, you know, in the surplus in the previous days. It's got to be what's happening. And maybe accelerated fat loss is happening a little more because I've got two fasting periods within like a 30-hour window. Okay, so that's my strategy. I totally love intermittent fasting. I think you got to be real careful not to extend it. The whole uh, eight-hour eating window thing is really not great for me. Uh, it's never really been historically. I like to, to pulse it like this. You know what I mean? I eat at eight, you know nine in the morning, and then you know by eleven I'm done. I fast till seven p.m. Then I eat again. I eat all the way up until midnight or one, and then I fast you know again all night, and then you know, nine in the morning I'm eating again. So I'm, I've got two periods of long fasting, but I'm breaking them down into eight hour increments essentially, eight to ten hour increments. I'm not doing sixteen hours of fasting, right? That's that that will that will burn fat off your body. It'll pour off. But this is when you start getting into hormonal issues, and this is when you start getting into you know other you know physiological issues, really toning up anxiety, uh, negatively working on thyroid gland output and functionality, and that's just like no bueno. You don't want to do that consistently. It's okay to do it every now and then, but these are very extreme ways. So that's my intermittent fasting protocol. I uh, hope that has been helpful for folks, and thanks for watching. What's up, everybody? Ryan Michael Baller here. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Look, we've got, uh, as it stands, uh, five primary products that I want to just explain to you. You heard us mention them during the video, so I'm going to break them down. Number one, from left to right, the Cortex Nootropic Stack. This is a, a cognitive enhancement stack that you really want to take to turn the lights on. Just to give you an idea, hardcore business folks that require 18 to 20 hours of brain function uh, take the Cortex stack. That's what we initially designed it for, but then like everybody in the nootropic sphere loved it. Uh, verbal fluency, speed of processing, motivation, drive to want to work. That's what the Cortex stack does. Moving right along, the Anoracetam uh, guide there. That is called the Beginner's Guide to Anoracetam. Breaks down 25 powerful Anoracetam stacks. Shows you how to use Anoracetam. It's essentially the everything guide to Anoracetam. Uh, long demanded. Folks asked us for it. We delivered. It is fully digital. Lots of powerful stacks. And then there's the nootropic stack for the business professional. That's basically 100, right around 100 powerful uridine, modafinil, theocrine, aniracetam, oxiracetam, phenylparacetam, alcar stacks for business situations for the type of brain states that business folks need for sustained performance. Next is the racetam god guide. That is a high level every racetam guy, uh, you know, digital guide. We've got all the major racetams with accompanying focus stacks and memory stacks and speed of processing stacks. Uh, in that racetam. There's eight major nootropic racetams, and that guide explains all of them and accompanying stacks. Then there's the Nupept Pro Stack List. The Nupept Pro Stack List is a digital guide that explains oral, so just taking it by mouth, sublingual, taking it under the tongue, and then intranasal, spraying Nupep nasal spray in your nose, stacks. It's just a bunch of stacks, a giant stack list of Nupep stacks that are highly effective, pro-level uh, specific brain state inducing type of new pep stacks. That thing has been a hit out there with the market. And then last, there's Smarter, Better, Faster. Smarter, Better, Faster is the all around, all everything nootropics digital guide. If you just want to learn everything, many racetams, modafinil, et cetera, get Smarter, Better, Faster. It's like the guide you need to know if you're new to nootropics to learn basically everything and to walk away knowing what you need to know on nootropics. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. Get this stuff at livecortex.com and rock on.